Welcome back to the second episode of this very special series of Through the Looking Glass where we showcase three animated short films. You've seen two of them. There's one more lined up. Uh, we will take a look at that movie in just a bit. But first, let me welcome back our special guest on the show, renowned animation filmmaker Kirit Khurana and his legendary father Bhim Sen. Gentlemen, welcome back on the show. Before we go ahead, let's take a look at the third film.
ね。Mr. Beam said, we'll come to you first since you've directed the movie. Uh, a lot of symbolisms in the film. You have this big hand which depicts, of course, uh, the person who's, you know, responsible for all the brutalities on the kids. And, uh, you know, you have the lock, which is very prominent. That's the other symbol. Uh, very conscious effort again at your end uh, to show the kind of trauma these kids are going through and how uh, they're working in very claustrophobic environments. That's very true. In fact, uh, the children are pushed uh, into this, all this. Uh, situations, for example, instead of going to the school, you know, he's pushed onto the factory and then from factory, you know, he undergoes certain experience, then um, in the log, log itself, finally he ends up in a box, as you see, that the, the, where the locks are packed. So this is a traumatic thing, even if you think about it, in a whole order, it was uh, quite a thing. What uh, inspired you to make this movie? Did you see uh, the subject uh, around you? Uh, what really got you to make the movie? Because it is a very important subject when it comes to India and you know, we are dealing with it on a daily basis. What got you to make the movie? Actually, uh, there was a challenge uh, number one of the subject, uh, telling graphically, interestingly, number one. And uh, the process of making the lock itself is a quite an experience for certain people who are not go on to the factory that way. So that we studied also, and uh, how the uh, children have to even spit blood and uh, things like that. And so you the, actually visited a, a factory where kids I, were working I, I've and I've seen that happening. Exploited. You know, I come from Lucknow, for example. And uh, these these things are uh, every every day is uh, fear there. It was, in fact, I'm talking about 41 years. Was ago. that the inspiration point for you, sir, for the movie? Uh, no, in fact, uh, as a, as a, you know, that uh, subject was given to us, and uh, I assigned him to design the characters and uh, animate them. But other things, you know, for weaving the story around Locke. So that was. Uh, the kind of uh, that process was shown in the film uh, throughout. On the animation front, uh, given uh, what the brief that you got from Mr. Bhim Sen, how did you work around it? I think the challenge was to make it uh, interesting, to make it uh, stark, to communicate the starkness, the, the contrast of the characters, and to get the brutality of the entire process of lock making to the fore. We used a very interesting technique um, of combining 3D animation and 2D animation. So a lot of the lock shots that you see actually is 3D animation and it's been sort of rendered out in 2D style and it was, you know, sort of uh, hand painted. Another, another thing also you do, which perhaps some people don't notice, but uh, making a uh, lock itself undergoes a lot of uh, physical labor. Right. You know, so that is also we have brought into the whole thing. And to make those uh, locks, the child labor is basically you know, generated uh, 